With senior superstar Kobe Bryant aboard for the 1995-96 season, the Lower Marine coaching staff knew that there would be no team in the area that would attract more attention than the Aces. The pressure would be high from the start, and so would the expectations. Knowing this, coach Greg Downer got Lower Marine prepared for the season right away with a game against superpower Roman Catholic at Drexel University. The game would prove to be a seesaw battle throughout, with Donnie Carr leading a balanced Roman Catholic attack and Bryant doing the same for the Aces. Roman jumped an early lead and Downer quickly called timeout. Get up, y'all. Hey, next time down. down. Next time down. Let's go double top. Double top. Come on, y'all. Eight All right. Let's go. Three. Defense, y'all. Three. One, two, three. Three. The timeout proved effective as sophomore Dan Pengrazio nailed this three and was fouled. Then Kobe stole this pass intended for Carr and finished with the emphatic one-handed slam. Seconds later, Kobe again on the steal, finding Omar Hatcher for another layup and a foul. And before the half was over, senior Oral Williams made the biggest contribution of his career, and the Aces cheerleader sensed LM was back in it. Down four in the third, Kobe hit for two of his 30 points right here, but it would not be enough. Roman would win the game, but Lower Murray showed a full house that they would be a team to be reckoned with during the season. In fact, the Aces shook off a 4-3 start to win 21 straight games, advancing to the contest everyone was waiting for, a match with Chester in the District 1 Quad A Final at the DuPont Pavilion, a game that would not have happened without the heroic shooting of Pengrazio in the District Quarterfinals against Norristown. Chester entered the game with great confidence, but the Aces were unified and confident they could avenge for last year's 27-point loss to the Clippers. Dabney helped trigger the intensity with this dish to Griffin, while Pettit would work hard on the boards to combat Chester's two 6-foot, 7-inch centers. Down seven at the half, the third quarter belonged to the Aces. Kobe Bryant played perhaps his best all-around game of the season. Here he gets the block on one end, and then the pretty assist to Griffin on the other. That'll set the stage for junior forward David Rosenberg, who made the most of the biggest opportunity of his career. First finding Griffin on the no look, then finding KB after the impressive ball fake, resulting in this resounding slam. When Kobe nailed this three-pointer, the Aces had completed an incredible 21-5 run and gave them a nine-point lead. Hand-holding on the bench gave the Aces enough impetus to make their foul shots and win their first district title since 1978. Next, it was the state playoffs, where LM was hoping to go farther than last year's second round exit. In Pottsville, the site of their 1995 loss to Hazleton, Lower Murrayne exploded with a 40-point win over intimidated Scranton. The Aces played their best defense of the year, holding Scranton without a point until five minutes were left in the second quarter. Meanwhile, the opponents had no answer for the Aces, any of them, including 5'4 senior guard Leo Stacy, who scores here on the layup. The win put everybody in a good mood, but even Kobe Bryant knew that everything would be serious again soon. In fact, against Chester two games later. Before one of the largest crowds ever to witness a game at the Palestra, the Clippers and Aces battled from start to finish in one of the most action-packed games ever played there. Prior to the game, Chester coach Fred Pickett said that Pengrazio had never done anything against them. Well, the sharpshooter proved him wrong. Meanwhile, Bryant delivered as always with a startling 39-point performance. But down the stretch, Pengrazio injured his ankle, and turnovers helped Chester tie the game. Thus, it came down to this, John Linehan versus Emery Dabney. And Dabney won, sending the game into overtime. In the extra period, Bryant got the joint buzzing, zipping through Chester's Ole defense for a monster jam that would put the Aces in the Quad A championship game against Erie Cathedral Prep. Coming off the emotional Chester win, the Aces were out of sync early and needed strong performances from Griffin and Dabney just to be down single digits at the half. Upping their tempo on D, the Aces controlled the second half and went up by two on Hatcher's late free throws. Then Carrie Walker sealed the championship victory with this shot off the front rim, and the Aces had their first championship since 1943. The jubilation set in in a scene so wonderful that you could say the whole experience was our one shining moment.
ball is kicked There you are You're running for your life You've a shooting star And all the years No one knows Just how hard you worked But now it shows In one shining moment You reach deep inside One shining Heart. Feel the wind in your face It's more than a contest It's more than a race Shine.